Hey guys, Big Rat 3! Ted is here again. Sorry that my face is a little burned. I was out today again. I was out too long. <laughs> it was like a post 4th of July thing that they were having at the exact same place I went to yesterday to go to the 4th of July party. They were kind of having like a post thing. It was fun. I had a great time. Um, I got home a little late and I finished watching Super Card of Honor. And now I'm gonna get to my random DVD review. Okay. <sighs> one show was very good, one show was not so great. I'm still deciding on the rating for one show because, like, I'm still kind of unsure on what to give it because I'm still not so sure. Um, I'm gonna have to think about it. Okay, let's go to. Sorry, I got closer. Okay, let's go to. Um, okay, now let's go to uh, SummerSlam 2007. Uh, Kane versus Finley. This match had very little substance. Uh, there was not much in the match. Two stars. It was eight minutes. Only two matches on the show were longer than seven minutes. Yes, only two matches. Carlito versus Kenny Umaga. I was into this match. Two and a half stars. I thought it was a pretty good match. Um, it had a lot more substance. Kenny Finley didn't have much more substance. This match should have been given more time. It really should have. I was. It was a lot of fun. It was a triple threat match. For crying out loud. A lot of cool things. Umaga worked well with Kennedy and Carlito. Um, Carlito and Kennedy did a nice uh, storytelling job of trying to get Umaga out of there and just work on each other. Try to take out the monster. Um, it was really a very, very, very good short match. Two and a half stars for a seven minute match. This match really should have been given more time. It really should have. Okay, uh, then we go to Rey Mysterio versus Chavo. This was, there's not much I can say. This was basically the same match from last year's SummerSlam. Uh, a little better. Oh man, it was, it was a little better. I liked Rey being the Silver Surfer, at least I think, because the movie The Silver Surfer from... I want to say Fantastic Four 2 uh, that came out this summer and I think Ray was trying to portray him or something because <laughs> he had a bunch of white body paint all over himself and the paint after the match the paint was gone um so yeah this was a pretty good match second best match in the show not saying much okay then we get to be Diva Battle Royal Dud. Did not need to be on this show. It did not need to be on this show. Pointless. MVP beer drinking contest. That's not in the description box. Pointless. Just a cheap way to get Stone Cold Dolphin on television. Morrison Punk. This was, again, too short. Like, seven minutes, two and a quarter stars. Punk and Morrison were kind of off. They did some cool things, but they did kind of botch a few things. Even the ending. Morrison botched the ending when he couldn't get his feet on the ropes. Um, so really, this wasn't that great of a match. I, I thought they should have given Punk the strap here, but it depends. You see, Braves for ECW back then were not good. I didn't watch ECW in the summer of 2007. I didn't. I'll admit it. I didn't. I don't think I watched it at all in 2007. Very rarely did I watch ECW in 2007. After December to December, I really lost interest. After, uh... Hmm. I want to say... No, not even last year's champion. No, I rarely saw ECW back then. Rarely. Um, I think... Uh, I started watching when Punk won the belt. And I stopped at December to December. And uh, you know what? I thought they should have given Punk the strap here. Since ra the ratings back then were atrocious. No one watched ECW. However, if you're going to have Punk win it in an 8-minute match. When these guys have been fighting for 3 months. No. If you're going to do it in like a 20-minute match, I think. Which he and Morrison had in ECW. Fine. But... They should have given this match more time. They should have. And then, in my opinion, Punk should have gotten the strap here. Uh, Triple H, King Booker. Too short. People say this is why King Booker left the WWE because Triple H owned him at SummerSlam. And he was pissed with the booking. I think it's kind of bold, Booker T. You got in a bookend. You got in uh, your kick. You worked on Triple H's leg a lot throughout the match, especially throughout the start of the match. You pulled his arm over the rope. You gave him a sidewalk slam. You threw him to the steps. I mean, in a seven-minute match, there's not many spots to name in the first place. But you did get an offense, so don't say you were completely owned. I, I thought it was, 
I don't think it was completely even-sided. I think it was like 60-40 or maybe even 55-45. Um, yeah, it was an okay match. But like I said, this is your main event. This is one of your three main events for the evening. And you you should give it more than seven minutes. Especially since the next match is only six minutes. Kali Batista, half a star. Shit. Absolute atrocious shit. Oh my god, this is bad. These guys did not work well together. I was so bored. I had to watch this match again. And I was like, oh god, I gotta watch this shit again. Oh my god, was it bad. Oh my god, was it bad. I'm only giving it half a star because of the spear and the Kali bomb. Those two spots. Those exact two spots. Because it, it should be a dud. This match really should be a dud. And I really want to give it to dud, a dud. I am so tempted to give it a dud. But I'm being extremely nice. Extremely nice and giving it half a star. Oh my god. It's just crap. I'm glad this one was short. I'm glad. And on top of that all, it ends a DQ. This is one of your two main matches. For, pop, for what's supposed to be your second biggest show of the year. And it ends a DQ. Fuck you, WWE. Uh, Cena Orton, this was a great, great, great match. I don't know whether it's because this whole car was so bad that made this one shine, but this was a very good match. This is one of my favorite SummerSlam main event matches of all time. If you think back, most of them are not that great. Really, they're not. Uh, one that I can think of that was good. That was really good. Uh, Brett and uh, Davey Boy is probably my favorite. Um... Shawn Michaels Vader was pretty good. Brett Undertaker was okay. I don't think it's as great as everyone says. Austin Undertaker was pretty good. The Triple Threat at some sub 2000 was pretty good. Um, but very few were four stars. I think only these matches that I've said. Brett, I think only uh, Shawn Vader, Taker Austin, Triple Threat at some sub 2000. This match ha can be considered four stars. But I thought this was four and a quarter. I was really into the match start to finish. I enjoyed it. It was 20 minutes. Good job. But you know what, Debbie? Here's a rant. This is supposed to be your second WrestleMania. For all, for as long as I've been a fan, I've always heard that SummerSlam was supposed to be the second WrestleMania. Then why the fuck did you do this shit? If SummerSlam was supposed to be your second WrestleMania. Why the fuck did you have a beer drinking contest and a battle royal that did not deserve to be there? And six or seven backstage segments in Vince McMahon's office with Mae Young. With Crime Time. With MVP complaining. All that could have been given to the matches. You know what? I'm so pissed. I'm going to give this a... Because I did enjoy some of the matches. They were just short. So, I'm going to give this a... But still, like I said, I don't watch pay reviews to have fun. I watch them... Well, I do. But I, I watch them to see great wrestling. I don't pay to, you know, enjoy myself. I pay my, to enjoy myself and see great wrestling. I didn't see a lot of great wrestling. So, you know what? I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this show a 5.75. That's fair, in my opinion. Not a great SummerSlam. Really, all the SummerSlams were not that great since 2002. Okay, let's get to Supercard of Honor 4. This was a very good show, but it's ROH. What do you expect? I'm going to go a little quickly on this one. There's not much to say. Eric Stevens, Rhett Titus. This was okay. I think I gave it two and a half stars. You guys don't know Ring of Honor, so I can't really go on all the backstory so much. And especially since I don't even know the backstory for most of these matches. Um, Chris Hero, Eddie Edwards, Incognito versus Kevin Steen, Jay Briscoe, Magno. The top rope broke in this match, and it made it better. It did. Um, Crazy Mike said in the Skype Talkers video, the top rope made the match better. And I'm like, how does it make it better? I watched the match. It did. It was pretty cool to see guys work with two ropes. Especially with, I think it was Magno, who got on the top of the pole. In the turnbuckles, the pull, and then a moonsault onto everyone on the outside. That was a very cool spot. Uh, he just had a great match. Three and three quarter stars. It was like three and a half, but I'm definitely bumping it up for these guys working with only two ring ropes. I gotta give them props for that. Roderick Strong versus Nakajima. I think this match is a little overrated. I think it was okay to good. Three and a quarter. I did enjoy it. It was short. It was only ten minutes. Uh, Cedar tells me, well, it's the cooling down period. Well, you know what? Maybe ROH could have... Because there was some really good talent in this match. Either A, did this match have to be the cooling down period? Or B, can't this match just be given a little more time besides 10 minutes? It could have been a lot better than it was. Bobby Dempsey versus Kamala. This is an NA. Basically, Kamala came out. And Bobby Dempsey took off his shirt and showed Kamala that since Bobby Dempsey's fat, that he has the exact like star paintings that Kamala has on his stomach. 
at Shane Hagedorn, part of Sweet and Sour, told Kamala to hit Bobby Dempsey, but instead they hit Shane Hagedorn. El Generico, Blue Demon, Claudio Castagnoli, Brett Albright, okay, three stars, not much to say, it was just a throw-in match. Uh, Danielson Kozlov, this was good, but they played a lot to the crowd, and for people ordering on DVD, it doesn't look that great. But it was still three and a half, I still kind of enjoyed it. Kenta David Richard, oh, Cabana Dila Brown, again, okay, three stars, not much I can say, I really like Cole Cabana. Kenta David Richards, this match was fucking awesome, four and a half stars, second favorite match of the year, 20 minutes, oh my fucking god, Kenta in my top six matches of the year, he's in four of those matches, Kenta is a fucking man. Aries and Jacobs versus Black and Butcher, after the first match, they couldn't do much, two and three quarter, and McGinnis Lynn, this shit rocked, and... McGinnis had two torn biceps, and he wrestled an awesome match. Two year title reign. I give you props. Four and a quarter. 8.75. Check out ROH. I won't be watching DVDs for another week, so don't expect these in a while. I'm out. Peace.